Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing another good and bad video for today. This one's going to be doing the good and bad of John Dory from Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> Okay guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing our weekly good and bad video for this week. This one is going to be doing the good and bad of John Dory from Fear the Walking Dead. So, uh, this is an absolutely amazing suggestion because John Dory is one of my absolute favorite characters in Fear the Walking Dead currently. Um, and this video was suggested by Epic Zombie Killer. So definitely a huge thank you for Epic for suggesting this video. This one I'm very, very excited to get into. So, John is introduced in Season 4, Episode 1. Uh, the very first episode of, the Walking, or of Fear the Walking Dead that really felt more different than ever, and also the premiere of season four, and also the first uh, episode ever uh, taken over by Ian and Andrew, obviously, uh, the probably the worst showrunners, according to a lot of people of the Walking Dead universe. So, um, Season 4, Episode 1, uh, which was called What's Your Story, all the way up until now, Season 6, Episode 4, uh, of course, uh, you know, still alive, still a character, and uh, surviving in the key, Season 6, Episode 4. So, um, he's been there for about two seasons now, uh, straight, of the series, and I love his character. I think Garrett Delahunt does an amazing job. Uh, in terms of his character and just the way he comes in, he really kind of has a great introduction because he's a great kind of friend for Morgan and also kind of, you know, Althea and, you know, the three of them at first meet up, um, and it's a pretty cool kind of, you know, first episode, first character. Um, he carries around these, like, bu uh, butterscotch, like, candies or whatever, which is really funny, um, but uh, he's tough as nails. You know, he is tough as nails. He, you know, he, he's a, a true cowboy, and honestly, uh, he knows how, you know, he knows what he's doing, you know, and I, I love it. He's on a mission to go look for June, and, you know, you know, well, he doesn't know it's her name at that point. He thinks her name is uh, Laura, but, um, you know, of course, uh, then it's Naomi, and then it turns into June, and then I'm still waiting to see if it turns into July, so, um, but anyway, so she, she she, of course, is missing. He is looking for her. Um, obviously, they had that amazing episode I, I found was a really great episode with John and June uh, to kind of give us a bit of an, you know, an explanation on kind of uh, what happened there. Um, and we find out that they were together, but then she left, and now he's you know looking for that type of thing. But you got all this stuff with the stadium that's kind of happening. So, of course, you know when he finds out that she's alive, you know he kind of goes out to find her, and he's like, Naomi? Was her name Naomi? Uh, you know, Naomi? And then, um, you know, uh, she's like, you know, uh, you know, she didn't make it out, and he's just like, uh, that's not true, you know, um, and I could not stand when Luciana's like, oh, she didn't make it out, it's like, you don't know if she did or not, like, I don't know, I just couldn't stand that, but anyway, so, basically, that's when we get the flashback, we get to see a bit more of an explanation, then when we find out she's with the Vultures, um, that really kind of just, it, oh, man, it's such a big reveal, and, um, John, of course, gets shot by Alicia, who, I love Alicia, but that's one of the worst decisions Alicia ever did. Uh, I'm sorry, but if I had to, to say one big flaw with Alicia is shooting John like that. That was ridiculous. But, um... Anyway, so John, of course, you know, we don't know if he's going to survive or not. Uh, it's really, really upsetting. And so far, like, from all the way up till this point... He has not done any bad decisions. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, John and his character, but I'm like, what is there really that bad about John? Like, he literally has almost done nothing. Maybe, maybe, which is not really a big gripe anyway, but maybe he's too nice for the apocalypse sometimes at some points here and there. But I don't know. That's just who he is. Like, I, I don't know. He's just, I don't know. He's such a perfect character, in my opinion. Uh, there are some little flaws with him, but not many, you know, to be honest, off the top of my head right now. So, um... Obviously, we have the fall of the stadium through all these flashbacks. Of course, we have uh, the group that, you know, after the death of Madison, you know, we kind of, this group kind of tries to find their almost identity, it kind of feels like. Um, and, you know, of course, we have the storm, everybody gets separated, and we have John and Strand that, of course, have to deal with some crocodiles. So, that's pretty awesome. I did like some of that stuff. That was pretty exciting. And basically, uh, you know, John and Strand have to kind of swim back because it's too dangerous. And uh, I like how they made it like halfway out or more, but they still swam back anyway. I'm it's like, man, like, honestly, I would just, like, go for it, you know? Um, but again, it's Crocodile, so again, that's a bit of a threat here. So, anyway, in Season 5, our group basically decides that they are going to help people. That is going to be their mission. So, John basically helps Dwight in Season 5. You know, as they're looking for Althea, he helps Dwight. And, of course, uh, you know, we find out about Sherry and how he hasn't found her yet. Um, and he tries to help Dwight find Sherry, of course, until she kind of gives him that, you know, this is my last letter. And then, you know, kind of uh, John hides it 
from Dwight. Now, okay, here's the one decision that's bad from John, though, okay? So, so far, I think he's done some really great decisions in Season 4, but in Season 5, this is when his first flaw came for me. Um, not telling Dwight, not giving Dwight the letter right away, kind of lying to his face like that. Um, I get I get why he did it, partly, but he, sh he should have told him. I mean, he really should have, and honestly, I don't know, that's just my opinion, but... He really should have told him. So, basically, um, our characters are making infomercials. It's, you know, it's really not that interesting. Uh, we've got the oil fields. I do like how John is up there, you know, with the gun, you know, at the oil fields. But I like how Logan even pointed it out. Like, you're not going to do it. You know, that, that type of thing. And it's, it is true. You know, you're not going to do it. So, um, you know, some decent decisions here. you got the rabbi that comes in. Uh, I did like how John, uh, you know, had that plan with the ladder. I thought that was pretty cool. But, again, you know, I, I mean, they got trapped out there anyway. So, it didn't really work out that well. But, still John is awesome so uh basically uh him and June you know of course get married at the gulch and uh you know they unfortunately get separated for like the millionth time and then in season six we get to see him in Lawton so obviously uh we have Strand that's there he's happy to see him but he's doing this investigation for you know Jenny um and uh, you know unfortunately Janice is killed uh you know and she she didn't even kill you know this Cameron character but uh you know just because you know she got killed and uh you know of course John uh really just raised Ages at Strand, and okay, here's here's a flaw for John. You know, if, if we can try to find a flaw for John, um, he should have beat up Strand more. There you go. That's that's a flaw, John. Honestly, keep going, man. Like honestly, you're doing good. Keep going. You know, I felt like Strand deserved a little bit more. I feel like to be honest for what he did. So, um. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, though. But uh, John, of course, is reunited with June. And of course, uh, you know, he has been kind of promoted now. So we'll have to see where that goes. But in terms of John's character, Garrett Dillahunt does an amazing job. I think he's a fantastic character and definitely really, really enjoying his character so far. And I think he's one of the best lead characters they've got right now in Fear of the Walking Dead as well, specifically because we're doing all these like kind of anthology type episodes. And I think that this this John episode is one of the best episodes of season six. It worked really, really, uh, really, really well in my my opinion. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. Of course, thank you very much to Epic for suggesting this video. Next week, we'll be doing one on beta. So guys, definitely stay tuned for that. Be good and bad of beta next week for, uh, you know, Ryan Hurst's character. But until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, click the subscribe button to so behind my videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow Dance Walking Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Fear of the Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Anybody out there?